Right. So hello friends, my name is Holly. I'm um, a full-time hot yoga instructor in Washington, D.C. During COVID, I'm uh, jobless, so I'm just going to be filming some tutorials on the 26 and 2 sequence, as well as um, posting some other, you know, yoga stuff for us to do together. All this stuff you can do at home, but this one's great um, for those of you with the 26 and 2 Bikram hot yoga practice. So um, today I'm going to be going over the right and left motion of half moon pose. Uh, the first posture, right? So Ardha Chandrasana with Padastasana, half moon with hands to feet pose. So you want your feet together, toes, heels touching nicely. Make sure, you know, if you're pregnant, they can be separated, but otherwise you really do want them together. Um, notice if all the weight's like on the outsides of your feet, you really want to like squeeze the thighs, the glutes, toes, heels, everything touching. So you're going to inhale your arms over your head sideways, palms together, interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, um, and cross your thumbs. You want to get a nice tight grip. Don't lose the grip. Um, you know, often when we're tight, like, you know, the elbows bend a little bit and that's okay at first, just know eventually you're gonna lock them out and eventually maybe even arms behind the ears just a little bit. So some things to notice, um, for those of you who are flexible, like it might be easy to have the arms of the ears, but you might also sometimes like stick your butt out a little bit. So make sure that hips are forward. You really want to engage the abdominal wall. So from the side, everything should be in line, yeah? So sometimes we'll like lean forward a little bit or lean back a little bit, but you really want everything like nice and flat. You can almost actually, if you're at home, I would recommend practicing this against a wall. So first you're gonna stretch up and then we do a warm up, right? So it's the beginning of class, you're just moving right and left. Now I want you to notice something. Sometimes you can move right and left just by moving the upper body. You can also move right and left just by moving the hips. Okay, Bikram is it's both, right? So it's hips pushing, upper body stretching. Sometimes we either like just push the hips or we just bend the upper body and it's really both, right? So stop in the middle again, hips forward, upper body back, hips, pelvis, chest, rib cage, everything flat to the front here. Squeeze your palms together up to the wrist, touch your biceps to your ears, always your biceps, your arms touching with your ears. Inhale, breathing, stretch up, full lungs, try to touch the ceiling, absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to the right without bending elbows and knees, continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling in the left side of your body, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingers to toes. So it's called half moon pose, right? Eventually you're gonna come down into a more crescent moon posture, but a lot of times we're like a little bit over eager to come down and people's knees or elbows are start to bend. From the side, I'll see people really start to like lean forward a lot. And you really wanna keep the hips and chest, the hips forward and the chest lifted, even if you don't go down quite as far. I wanna be really clear, this to me is proper alignment. This is way better than this. Yeah, this you can like hurt the back, my shoulders are twisting, my hips are out of alignment, my stomach's kind of relaxed, right? Like everything's out. This way better of a stretch, right? And the more you can keep the arms to the ears, the weight in the heels, the legs locked, maybe you go a little bit deeper, right? So you're squeezing the palms together, suck your stomach in, come down, push, 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 change, inhale to come up. So hips forward, arms back, squeeze palms together, stretch up, and slowly bend to the left. Now we're not symmetrical, right? This side could feel a little bit different, it certainly does for me. And so that's also part of why you wanna go slow. So anytime something doesn't feel quite right, you can stop, right? Sometimes when we go really fast into postures, we don't realize that we've gone a little bit too far. So slow and steady for sure wins the race. Now a couple things, as you start to get deeper, sometimes little stuff comes out of alignment. Maybe the weight shifts into the toes, Maybe the elbows bend a little bit. Maybe the palms start to come apart. That's a big one. Um, one of the big secrets in this class that's often overlapped, grip strength. You wanna squeeze the palms together, lengthen the arms and bring the weight back into the heels. So weight in the heels the whole time. Hips a little forward, upper body back. Keep your chin away from your chest. You wanna see your whole throat visible in the front mirror. So notice if chin ever starts to drop, yeah? Chin up, chest up, stomach in. And then the other alignment things that I make every single time I practice, Right hip forward, two hips in line, left shoulder forward. Sorry, I'm saying it, but I'm not mirroring you. So you wanna get hips and shoulders in line. Yeah, often like one hip kinda of comes forward or one shoulder comes forward. You wanna make sure hips stay square, shoulders stay square. So the chest is open. In the dialogue, it says, open your chest like a flower petal blooming. So think like a sunflower almost blooming to the sun. Come down, push, 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 change. Inhale to come up, great. So again, just some things to keep in mind. You wanna keep the weight in the heels, the hips forward and the upper body back. If your grip ever starts to come apart, you might've gone a little bit too far. You really wanna squeeze the palms, lock the arms of the ears as best you can. Always keep the weight in your heels and remember to breathe. Always breathing in and out through the nose. That's the most important part of this class. That's your five minute um, half moon tutorial. Have a